the Honda E. Awesome little hatchback, 105 mile range. This particular car is from 16,000 miles and only had one owner. Let's have a look. Start the front of the car, so as, you, as you'll be able to see, parking sensors on the front bumper. Little nifty little button here for opening the charge flap. Super handy, rather than trying to find the key in your pocket. And as you'll see, this car has Type 2 and CCS. So capable of charging at 50 kilowatts, will give you 20 to 80% in less than 40 minutes. Awesome. Right, working down, you'll see the main feature of this car is no wing mirrors. Honda have replaced the wing mirrors with cameras, which you can have a look on the inside there, but showing right and left of the dash. If you're thinking that's too techy for you, do not let it put you off, because we've driven this car a lot and it is awesome. You definitely, definitely get used to them. It is a five door, back handles are hidden inside of the door there. Bit different, nice and clean looking. And then round to the back, so we've got parking sensors on the rear, reverse camera as well. And then into the boot, deceptively big for the size of the car. And you'll see two charge cables. So here we've got a cable for charging on a normal three pin house socket, and also a type two to type two cable for charging in public. Underneath the boot floor, you've got some extra storage. You've got your puncture kit and your locking wheel nuts. Let's have a look in the cab. So if we start in the middle, here you've got your brake hold, which means you don't have to hold your brake if you're waiting at the traffic lights or on a slight hill. You've got your electric handbrake here, so it's up for on and down for off. Your drive modes will change from normal and sport. You've also got single pedal driving here, so that will turn your regen braking on, which is actually really nice around town. You don't have to keep swapping between accelerator and brake. And then your gears are the last buttons here. So we'll start with drive, neutral, reverse is a little toggle back like that, and then park up the top. Really nice little feature here in the middle. You've got a nice big central storage cabinet, which you can then move the partitions to end up with three cup holders if that's what you prefer. Also on the front end of this is a nice little brown leather handle. You pull that out another cup holder there in the middle right then we're going to talk through the main dash of the car here but i'm just going to open the sunroof just because that's a bit nicer on a sunny day like today right so as you're looking at this now it could be easily overwhelming for someone but the short way of remembering this here the whole way across is customizable so at the moment we've got our media here so it's showing that capital is playing and the navigation screen is over here but if you wanted that here you simply click the button there to swap the dash around so you can set it up exactly how you want it the passengers also got some controls there if they want to sort out the music while you're concentrating on the drive the menu is fairly extensive but there's lots of information through the EV menu where you can set your timed charging up uh, you can see here we're on 96% and it's showing a range of just over a hundred miles over to the steering wheel so again, you've got some controls here for your media on the left-hand side. You can also adjust what you see on your main screen there. Voice control. And then on the right-hand side, you've got your cruise control and speed limiter. Lane keeping assist. And this button here will help you set your distance from the car that is following in front of you. Just behind the steering wheel, you'll see two flappy paddles. This is for adjusting your regenerative braking and then your normal stalks left and right will be for auto lights and auto wipers. Down to the right you'll see a power button. The car is keyless. It will flick the door handles open for you as you walk up to the door and then it's just one foot on the brake 
to turn it on and off. Right, check out the turning circle of the Honda E. This is unbelievable. Right, so that's full lock there. Easy, all day long. I reckon you could turn this car around in a two lane road. Nuts, it's <laughs> just nuts. Firstly, cute outfit change for the hot weather. To summarize on this car then, the car is inclusive of VAT, it is VAT qualifying, so check with your accountant because it could save you lots of money there. The car is one owner from new, it's sitting on a 2020 plate on less than 16,000 miles. The car's MOT is not due until early next year and we will put it through a fresh service with Honda so it will be completely ready to go in the next couple of days. We're happy to take any part exchanges you've got so please send us the details of those if you want to. We've got very competitive finance rates if that's something you'd like to look at and we can also offer free home delivery. Any questions at all or if you'd like slightly different photos or personalised video then just let us know. Call us or drop us a WhatsApp.